Hello, today we are checking out some folk wind instruments on Piano Book. Now these will require you having the full version of Contact, but what I like about this package is you're getting four unique instruments with this as well as some pads and textures. Now the four instruments you're getting are the recorder, the ocrean, the wooden flute and the pan pipe. So you're getting a nice selection, it's not just one instrument and when we actually look at the folders there's lots of different things going for the instrument so I'm very intrigued to see how it sounds and works and the paperwork as always is here the mod wheel controls the volume the pedal does something but as I said link in the description for this product you can read more about it it's by hereafter soundtracks the only thing they've produced love the little bit of artwork and let's just jump in and actually have a look at the filing system very quickly so when you download it this is how it will look you've got the readme as always and when we go into the instruments as i said there's a number of different things you have a load of pads you have the pads dry and then you have the actual solo wind instruments this is where we're going to start and then we might look at a couple pads we're not going to look at everything we're going to try and keep this concise as possible so let's move into contact now we're going to start with my favorite out of all of them the pan pipes the other one can be questionable uh in their use and sound a little bit off but out of all of them this is my favorite and you'll soon see why so let's just jump in and play a little bit So a fun, nice, little, windy panpipe. Uh, what I like is the fact that you have this, I guess, almost normal blowy articulation sound that you get from it up here, and down here you have the more staccato push, a more of a push on the sound. And there you have it. So moving swiftly on, we have the recorder. We'll move on to now. And as we can see down here, we have some different key switches for the different articulations. Quite a nice instrument actually, that recorder add a little bit of reverb and I think you've got something really going for you there. I really wish they kind of included the attack, sustain, decay and release with this as well because uh, I would really affect that release just a little bit so there's quite a little bit of a tail because you really do have to play a legato uh, and be careful with it there but a nice little range of articulations, it would have been nice to have uh, a staccato, so a short sound as well. but we can't complain this is free now we'll move on to the ocarian again with the articulations down here with the key switches I'm also really liking the natural vibrato you get on these instruments as well. Uh, I've noticed that with all three so far that they have this lovely little bit of vibrato.
So there we have it. There's the ocarina, a number of different articulations there as well to kind of play with. Again, it would have been nice to have a short, but you can really play with those, swap around and probably create quite a nice realistic sound, add some reverb. I, I would definitely do that um, within your DAW just to add a little bit more realism. Right, let's go on to our final one, the large wooden flute. A little bit of reverb and I think just a bit really working with the sound a little bit more again I, I wish I had a bit more attack sustain and release just so I can slide them almost into each other a little bit more and just a little bit of reverb to kind of mask that sound you do have this beautiful raw sound that you can work with and have a bit of fun uh, it is 1.4 gigabytes this so there are the samples behind it I just feel it's a little bit raw and could do with a little bit more fine tuning but overall especially the pan pipe uh, I'm, I'm quite enjoying this. I'm really intrigued now to see the pads. I'm going to skip the pads dry for a second and go straight into some of these other ones. Oh, gorgeous little image as well. Nice artwork. Uh, let's have a little play, see what comes out of this. very haunting and really glossy <laughs> that's a weird word I guess to describe this but I actually really like it it's quite subtle and quiet and you can turn the volume up here it's on minus six so you can pipe it up a little bit more again it would be nice to see some controls other than just the volume on the mod wheel but like okay, a tactic case sustain release this is really nice orchestrated patch just out of the box just have this beautiful misty yeah I'm, I'm really buying on these let's go to an ocrium pad I'm hope I'm pronouncing that right uh, again with the artwork some lovely artwork It's very subtle and in the background. And it really does need turning on, turning up a bit. Just subtle and very backdroppy. What else do we have? Pan pipes, mod wheel. What's going on here? Again, I'm loving the artwork. And I quite like the balance of reverb and raw organic sound. It really has this organic sense in this pad, especially this when you have that beautiful just air about it, creating this acoustic space with room for whatever's going on. I think this person who made these is a video game um, designer or music wise creates video game music. Uh, let's go now into the pads dry. I'm a bit more worried about these. I think it's the same ones just without the reverb. Okay, 
we'll take that one. Let's use one that we've used before on the actual wet and see what happens. It's nice that you've got the choice, but I think what would be nicer is putting a reverb knob on there so you could control the reverb, although having built contact instruments myself, I know it's a lot easier just to do this than it is to um, do some coding, because you do have to do coding to do anything knob related. So it is nice that you do have the roar as well as the uh, wet. But overall, this is a fun little instrument, definitely worth downloading. It's going to take a little tip, bit of tinkering with the solo sounds. I think the only one out of the box I quite like is the pan pipes. The others, I would definitely add a little bit of reverb uh, and just, I wish there was some attack to case sustain release, but I think I can go into contact and modify that myself, just out of the box, questionable. The pads are very usable, um, well, very paddy, elongated, airy sounds. I love the balance of reverb, very organic, overall beautiful library. Well done. Thank you, Hereafter Soundtracks. Uh, you've done a great little job, um, but definitely something uh, to add to the collection if you're into the folk uh, scene. Um, a bit of fun to mess with, especially with the pads. I, I would recommend them. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.